Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgk.com and today we are going to learn about ready to use stairs in 3ds Max. Just as we have doors and windows, we also have stairs that are built in 3ds Max, which you can use, create and use right away. Uh, they are under create geometry stairs. You can find them here. Uh, but before we start to draw a stair, I recommend you to create a box to be able to catch the snaps because this works just like a uh, window so to be able to create a straight line I'm using these snaps in here okay we, are, we will be able to change all the dimensions later on but uh, for the angle I recommend you to use something like this and let's go to stairs start with a straight stair I'm going to hit S and just grab this and this sides in here and then I'm going to just uh, define a width uh, then I'm going to hit S to get rid of the snaps and just click again to input the height. Then we can get rid of this box. Uh, don't worry about the dimensions because we can change them later on. I only recommended you to use a box for the angle. Okay. Now let's go to Modify tab. Let's go to the Modify tab. Uh, by the way, if you already have a model with walls and floors and uh, ceilings, then you will be able to grab those snaps and uh, th this process could be a little bit easier uh, without inputting any dimensions but I want to show you uh, how you can change this stair later on as well so uh, let's uh, try it like this okay now in here first thing I want to talk about is the layout and the rise boxes okay now in the layout you can change the length and the width of these stairs let's input 200 for the width for example and I want the length to be 250 let's say okay we can change these uh, later on don't worry and uh, next thing I want to do is I want to set a razor height and I want this to be fixed because usually a razor height is um, something that you decide at the beginning uh, this will vary according to where you use these stairs but uh, usually indoors it's 18 centimeters but as I told you this can vary so uh, it's not a rule or anything but I'm going to input 18 centimeters and then I'm going to hit this pin which means that uh, I want this value fixed okay uh, whatever I decide for these values uh, the overall height and the riser count uh, I want the riser height to be fixed at 18 centimeters so let's say the overall height should be 300 and you can see that riser count will change accordingly okay and then I can just again play with the uh, length and everything else okay to be uh, to make the seam a little bit more appropriate now you can see that we have stairs that uh, rise uh, ri rises from the first floor to the second floor or whatever it goes up one floor at least okay as we decided these values now we can play with uh, more cosmetic uh, things uh, let's just start from the beginning and you can see that we have a type uh, parameter in here it's uh, that we have three choices open closed and box let's see what these do uh, open is this one closed is as you can see this one and box is uh, this one in here I'm going to stay at open because we have uh, more uh, values or we can uh, we have more properties we can play with uh, in here I, I think this will be more educational that way uh, you can see that we can disable the carriage or enable it we can add stringers let's uh, add uh, some we can add handrails to left and right maybe one of these sides will to face with a wall uh, so you don't want to add a, uh, a rail a handrail to uh, one side but you can play with this value as you can see and if you don't want this if you want to create a custom handrail you can add the paths as well you can grab these paths and you can add sweep to this or whatever you want uh, for now let's just go with the built-in handrails and as I go down you can uh, as you can see you can play with the thickness of these stairs and you can play with the depth of these stairs okay uh, then you can add uh, you can play with the values of uh, each of these elements uh, for example the carriage you can change the depth you can see that this value changes as I play with this uh, you can play with the width of this 
and you can uh, just tell this to spring from floor or not okay you can see that it slices uh, the uh, carriage from the ground level and uh, there's an extra button in here which uh, allows you to change the count of these carriages for example and you can play with other values as well but this is a classical spacing tool so you can uh, we have seen that before you know what they do I hope you know what they do <laughs> uh, if you haven't uh, seen previous videos there's a whole playlist uh, by the way if you are just jumping right in with this video just go to CG Cave uh, YouTube channel and you can find uh, a lot of 3ds max stories in there okay so you can play with the values uh, of railings you can change the height you can change the offset value which will offset these uh, inwards or outwards uh, sorry uh, only inwards and you can change the segments for these uh, edges if you count these uh, as I change these you can see that it changes the segments just uh, as a cylinder and we can also change the radius for this last thing we can play with uh, is the stringer values uh, which are these um, side stringers uh, you can change the width you can change the depth you can change the offset just like in the handrails and uh, th this offset value is up and down by the way okay all right this is a straight this was a straight stair uh, if you want to add um, some supports in these handrails you can add them uh, manually later on don't think about these like uh, ah, okay we don't have any support so is this the model we are going to use no you don't need to think like that you can add an edit poly on top as you know from uh, the lessons before and you can play each of these elements you can add stuff you can subtract stuff whatever you want to do so try to think of these as base uh, models okay let's delete that and go with the l type stair uh, we have the same uh, or similar options with this but this is an l stair as you can see and let's uh, try to change the values in here i'm not going to go through all of these again um, just let's try to find out what's different uh, from the previous thing let's uh, set the riser height to 18 again and pin that and let's uh, change the overall height to 300 and then we can play with some values in here as you can see we can change the length one or length two for this we can change the width we can change the angle which is cool and we can change the offset okay and then we have the same values for carriage railings and stringers as well okay let's go to the u type stair which i think you uh, you can imagine what this will uh, create for us this will create a u stair for us let's input the same values for the riser height and the overall height then we can just create uh, I want to change the width yeah okay then it will <laughs> look some uh, look like something real right uh, let's change set the width to 200 and we can play with this then, uh, later on. you can again change the length one length two uh, we can change the offset and uh, the thickness for these stairs uh, as from before we have closed box views and again just try to think of these as base uh, models if you th think of this as a base model then uh, you have endless opportunities you can build on this type uh, this model in here uh, so let's delete this as well and try a spi uh, spiral stair which will create something like this and then we can just again set uh, decide the razor height and then the overall uh, height and let's play with the other values like with for example okay cool we have something like this uh, again you can for example you can actually we have a center pole I, I would add a center cylinder but we have a center pole let's see what this does I want to see how that works yeah oh, cool it adds a cylinder automatically as well you can 
change this value in here you can change the segments in here and everything okay um, you can play with the radius I want to add some things and see how it does can I change the angle I want to see that Ah, we can change the yeah uh, this is very cool this is something new so I want to show this to you uh, you can change the segments on the edges so that it is more round like this if you drop this to one you can see that it's straight and the edges but if you increase these segments you can see that it, it introduces some more segments in here and it creates a rounder edge ah, okay this is the revol uh, revol yeah uh, I can change how much it revolves around that pole center pole and you can see that we can create something like this but I guess this is not functional because let's check the height of here for example yeah it's <laughs> one 1 1.4 uh, meters uh, it's not cool because uh, I guess uh, the we should uh, <laughs> calculate this from two meters I guess uh, we couldn't go up the stair maybe if we increase the height let's think let's say this uh, will go up two stories so I'm gonna input 600 then it will work out I guess yeah As you can see, if we step in here, increase the length of this box. Yeah, it's suitable for a human being. Okay, so you can see that we can create uh, different types of base stairs. Again, I I've said this too much, but for the last time, try to think of these as base models. You can add on these because they won't look realistic right away, of course. Uh, but if you add on these, then you will achieve uh, great results, in my opinion. Okay, thanks for listening. These are the stairs in 3ds Max. We have a couple more lessons, like three more lessons, actually, before we go into the Edit Poly, which is our last and longest uh, subject, I guess. We will see that in three lessons. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope you find this useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, and see you in the next lesson.